I'll see you doing. Do you mind? And how are you doing it? Alright. How the devil are we, guys? Let's rub it on with William and the gang. Alistair, or should we say future king Alistair. Uh, Win, Brain Want, and Rip my dog. My Mabari hound. And we've come back to Redcliffe, which appears to be having battle issues again. Alright, which way are we going? Uh, who's he? Man, let's just go that way. Some, there's a, a couple of carts been turned over. And that gate's been knocked over. It's, it's you, the Grey Warden. I'm yes. just his mercy that you got here when you did. I thought for sure these monsters were going to get me. I beg your pardon. Yeah, when did the Darkspawn get her? Because I'm assuming that's what you mean. Just a few hours ago. Not that long after everyone was evacuated to the castle. I thought I could make it to my home and back before they got here. But it took me too long to get down here. What a relief you arrived. Right. The Archdemon's not here, is it? Uh, I didn't see anything that I'd call an Archdemon. Isn't that supposed to be a big dragon? No, nothing like that. I'm oh, going to get odd. out of here before any more of those things arrive. Thank you again. I get out of here where? Did you go to your house? And what have you done? We've got friends round the corner. Oh, and it started again. I actually fixed that. It lasted for about two days. I believe there's something to do with my new SSD from last year. Which makes sense, it's around the time it started. Well, a few months after that. Probably going to have to open it up and look at it that way. Because I've tried uh, updating the drives. You know, and the firmware, which is already up to maximum date, so... I do think you probably are picking that up, because... I use an external recording box, which should get every piece of uh, audio from the computer, unfortunately. Oh, the what? Kill the mage thing. What the? Oh, it shrieks. Yeah. Alright, come in everybody. Oh. Uh. Nice. Any more? Get him Nicely done. Oh, and you. Get out of the circle, unless you actually, you, unless it's emanating from you. Get out of it. All right, corpse, corpse. <coughs> Pardon me. Landmark tree. Well, I got the dog with me. It can have another pee if it likes. All right, the boats in the harbour. Going to assume the dark spawn can't attack those. Why can't we use a secret door now that we know about it? Why do we have to fight our way there? Sorry, mate. Um, sorry, mate. War effort, you know. I shall do it. Uh huh. Come on. Do your business. All over my shoes. I said the tree, not my shoes. Ah, <sighs> never mind. Right. Oh dear. Yeah, let's stay on the bridge. Got a little bit of a... Got a little bit of a thingy doing it that way. Choke. Choke point. Oh, that's just... I don't know where the hell's a win. I keep wondering where the rocks come from, then I remembered. The other week last time we was on a 
and gave Whitney, but as it's a throw rock, however, it was certainly. No quarter shall be given. Very well. Come on. What did I tell you? Taste steel. Hold on, Alistair. Hmm. What the hell is that? Good fish. Or is it some kind of demon fish? I've never noticed it before. Probably never looked up here until the fire. No, it didn't do anything. Okay. Right. Anything over there? No, no. Oh. <sighs> oh, <'cause> <coughs> Pardon me. So. The question is, how many is there? I should have said, how many are there? Is there? Uh -huh. And... Um, let me get them to just sort of come here so that they can't. There we are. Whoa, there's a few. That takes care of the wolves in one. Oh, there's two ogres. That's not a good sign. Just to save the really. ocean. Ouch. Luckily, we've got an absolute ton of uh, potions. Alistair. Oh dear God. Win. Revive him. What are you doing, dog? Hit him. Alright. You mind getting off me? Take the potion. Take the potion. Take the potion. And then that one. And attack the git. Alright, your turn. Seriously? Is he dead again? Take a greater if you can. <laughs> right, where are we up to? We are on moving freely, aren't we? No hope is this move freely. Right. Get over it and take care of these gits or Another death. <laughs> 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 right. Come on, we're doing it. Shall be done. Ah, gone. Luke. He's okay. Don't need me now. Nice. Bit more loot, bit more. Very well. They're very good at building these uh, pyres, aren't they? Just getting the pyre set up, then they're gonna stand around it. But what gets me is why they, you know they love pyres, but then they set everything else on fire. So yeah, they, so basically the village is completely. Completely abandoned. Hmm. Oh, no, maybe. Well, how do we? But I better we just go the normal way, don't I? And we're done down here. I'm 
just admiring how these ropes look like they've uh, they're thicker than the ones in uh, standard Skyrim. Is you know, hence why we have Smim and things like that. You bloody software thing, or oh, motor about you bloody stupid hard drive. Piss off doing that again. I wouldn't mind, this game's not even on that hard drive. Whatever's causing it to decide I want to have a dicky fit now. Alright. Sorry guys. Alright, to the castle then, I suppose. As you say. There, more of the fiends ahead. Yes. Right, 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 right. Now, I've already started, so I am not going through the whole rigmarole. I'm turning it off. Oh, there's some Red Cliff soldiers up there. Uh, uh. uh oh, this way, this way. Side, he's killing his own people while he's trying to kill me. Now die. Die, die, die. Now die. Okay, just keep hitting him. Wow, that's. <coughs> Are we done? Yes, the double dark spawn get into the castle, blah blah blah, what happened? I don't rightly know. Riordan of the Grey Wardens arrived this morning, just ahead of the dark spawn. I was told he has urgent news and to send out patrols to watch for your arrival. Then we were attacked. Hmm. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, I must prepare. Can you hold the dark spawn? Take me inside. Must be no last. What's he doing here? I don't rightly know. Things happened so fast. I only know he was scouting in the south before he arrived. Ah, I must have seen a demon. All right, take me inside then. I should take you to the hall right away, my lord. They'll be waiting for you there. Oh, I've missed that. 
Never mind, there's probably only like 60 silver. That stage of the game where I don't need it anymore. It's a relief to see you unharmed. And you as well, Alistair. Or should I say your majesty? Uh, no. No, I wouldn't say that. Not yet, anyway. The Darkspawn mm. that attacked Threadcliff were mm. relatively few in number, I'm afraid. It was assumed the Horde was marching in this direction, but that is not true. Riordan tells us that the bulk of the Horde is in fact heading towards Denerim. They are perhaps two days away from the capital. What? Are we sure about that? I mean, if that's true... I ventured close <coughs> enough to listen in, as it were. I am quite certain. Okay. Okay, uh, are we even ready to deal with the hard? I'm not about to let Denerim fall, if that's what you mean. I didn't I'm say that. there's one more thing that makes this of even greater importance to the Grey Wardens. The Archdemon has shown itself. The dragon is at the head of the Horde. Make her okay. Us. But we can't reach Denerim within two days, can we? It's too far. We must begin a forced march to the capital immediately with what we have. Denerim must be defended at all costs. Right, right. Uh, is it even possible to reach the city in time? Because that's what you're saying, even if we march right now. Perhaps not. But what is important is that we know where the Archdemon will be. If exactly. we do not defeat the Archdemon, it will not matter if Denerim is saved or the Horde defeated. And only the Grey Wardens can defeat the Archdemon. That is why we must go. Then we march, and hope the army we've collected here gives us the chance we need. Al Eamon, how long before the army can set out? By daybreak. Then let's get them ready. I won't let all those people die without giving them a chance. Exactly. Well said, King Alistair. Right. Actually, yeah, this is the most important question because the person who kind of inducted me never mentioned this, but how do we defeat the Archdemon? I assume we just chop its head off. I was wondering that myself. Yeah, then you don't know. You don't know. Of course not. You're both new recruits. Duncan wouldn't have expected. I will give the orders at once and will notify you the moment we are ready to march. That would be appreciated. Uh -huh. Perhaps you and Alistair should meet me before you retire for the evening. There are things we need to speak of. I will have someone show you to your rooms. I suggest you all get some rest while you can. We will need it. Indeed. Alright. And now in typical fashion when I'm contemplating stopping to... Uh, reset the uh, software in the drive again to make it stop doing that for however long it lasts a week two weeks two days it stopped making that awful noise which means it'll start again right the, the important part of the uh, story more than likely I'm gonna ignore it for now it's not doing it but if it starts before I start doing anything important we'll deal with it then right oh howdy Goodbye, goodbye. Oh, actually, do you see anything interesting? Piece of wood, curious symbol. Okay. Cheers, rip. Bye bye. What did I get? No, piece of piece of wood. Oh. Huh. There you go. It started right. I'm gonna deal with that. I hope it bloody works. So, thanks, Rip, for the staff. I suppose I shall save here and come back in a second. Well, to you. Might take me a while. Mm. Right, he says optimistically. I've uh, reset the, the disk software on the hard drive again. I'm going to have to look for a more permanent solution because I'm sure I've narrowed it down to that. I mean, knowing my luck, it say. probably isn't that. Mm, never noticed that. But the door is higher 
than the beam of wood it comes through if you open it this way. Okay. Um, everybody's here virtually. Let's have a chat for the final fight. She's a lucky girl, Marion. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> for having me. Uh, well, there's a lot of sadness been in her life, really. That is not what I meant. She caught your eye. Though looking at her, it is not difficult to see why. Yeah. Yeah, she's interesting once you get to know her. Well, I want you to know I am happy for you. Hmm. I hope that wasn't jealousy. Anyway, I could I got a moment. He's sure. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, let's have a quick chat about you. What about? Uh, nope, we've done all, all right. that. See you later. Hi. All right then. Yes. Oh no, there it is. <coughs> it lasted all of about twenty minutes. Ooh. Shale. I am listening. Never mind. Stan. What is your wish, Kadan? Uh, yeah, nothing. Let's go. As you wish. When? How are you doing? What's on your mind? Have you changed your mind about Morgan and me? Uh, does it? Do I care? I have watched you for a time, and perhaps I was wrong. <laughs> there seems hmm. to be something special between the two of you. It doesn't happen often. But I see her smile to herself sometimes when she watches you. Oh. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll have to tease her now. I think I was too harsh in my judgment before, and I am sorry. Uh, you was better be sorry. No, she, she is the mother of the group, but apology accepted. What you have may not last forever. Yep. Death and duty may part you, but love's worthiness is not diminished because of that. I should have seen this before. Instead, you learn to cherish every precious moment that you spend together, mm. knowing that it may be the last. And for those of us watching, well, it brings warmth to these old bones to know that something so beautiful can be found in the midst of chaos and strife. You're welcome. That's what you were waiting for, wasn't it? You're welcome. Alright. Uh, love the sword, mate. Love the sword. Alright. Zevran. Your wish? Uh, any questions? Whatever you'd like to ask. Tell me another story while we've got ten minutes. Again? Well, now, what might interest you, I wonder? Shall I describe the stages involved with Lanthrax poisoning? Yeah. I watched a man go through all seven once. Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> no, I'll not inflict that upon you just yet. Well. Let's see. How about the largest battle I ever took part in? That would have been the slaughter of Prince Azrin. Did you hear of that down in these parts? Uh... I don't know. You are an elf. You could be far older than me for all I know. But anyway, you killed a prince? Me? Not personally. But I did take part in the attack. Mm. Prince Azrin was fourth in line to the throne, you see. He started off as 11th, but worked his way up the uh -huh. old-fashioned method by inheriting control of an entire cell from his grandfather. After assassinating his way through the royal family, the king hired three other cells to take down Prince Azrin once and for all. I was in one of those cells. Okay. So this is common, I take it. Antivan royalty is very much bound up in the crows. You wouldn't want it run by a bunch of commoners, after all, would you? And mm. this means they get involved in politics quite often. This particular fight nearly bankrupted the nation, I understand. <coughs> it almost ended up putting a crow on the throne, a commoner. But that's a whole different story. I played a very mm. small part. Okay, what did you do? 
My part in the entire battle was taken up trying to reach Princess Verina, who had thrown in with her brother. I killed about 11 of her guards personally before I got knocked out of a window. I landed in the river and nearly drowned. I was fished out by some urchins who robbed me blind. Made off with my boots, too. At least they didn't cut my throat. And that was my part in history. Okay. And you got robbed by urchins? Mm. I had to find my way back to the safe house, bruised and naked, and thankful to be alive. But there you go. Tale told. Let's be off before I tell more embarrassing stories, huh? <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, uh, okay. Uh, no, it didn't open. Sandal and butter. Okay, how are you doing? If there's anything I can do for you, please, please tell me. Let's see your wares. I'm sure you'll be pleased with the goods my boy and I have collected, and with your discount. Okay, what have I got that I don't need? Alright, that's that done. I spoke to everybody. Is it just upstairs? Hmm, just upstairs it is. Final battle. Okay. I am actually. Michael. Oh, yeah. Be fine. Right. Oh, for God. I am going to take my machine apart piece by piece until I f figure it out at this rate. Right, okay. As you say. Uh, what's in that one? I shall do it. Ah, Marigan. What are you doing all upstairs alone? Why are you not downstairs with the rest of the gang? I know you like your privacy, but how the hell did you get given a fancy big huge double bed? Um Marigan. I have something for you. Uh, is it bit bigger than a bread box? Huh? Tis a ring. Now, before you get any foolish notions, let me explain. Okay. Flemeth once gave me the ring because it allowed her to find me no matter where I went, in case I was ever captured by hunters. Oh, okay. I disabled its power as soon as we left the wilds. Recently, however, I thought to change it. Now, I will be able to find whoever wears it instead. Okay. Okay, so you know where I was on. It is not to track you, you understand. I believe you are too important to risk. If you were to get captured, however, it would be far easier to find you with this. Uh, I've already been captured and got away. Okay, does it do anything else? Flemeth used to say that twas a link between us, one that I presumed worked both ways. I never tested it, but I doubt she would have lied over such a thing. So it would mean I am linked to you as much as you to I. Okay, I probably don't have the skills, but I could find you if need be. I do not know. As I said, I never tested it. Perhaps. Okay. 
I'm glad to see you care. Now you are mocking me. Do you wish the ring or not? I am tempted to simply keep it. I wasn't making mocking you. Okay, okay. Thank you for the gift. You are welcome. <coughs> Perhaps it will be useful someday. Okay. Weird. Your desire? Never mind. We might have time for that, but first I've got to... Uh, There you are. Let's go see what Riordan has to say. Do you never take that? Never mind. I was gonna say, do you never take that helmet off? Oh. There you are. Let's go see what Riordan has to say. Let's indeed. You're both here. Good. Please know I assumed you had already been told. Otherwise, I would have told you this when you freed me in Denerim. I'm sorry. What is it? What are you apologizing for? Tell me. All right. Have you ever wondered why the Grey Wardens are needed to defeat the Darkspawn? <sighs> Asculine ability to sense them has got to be part of it, but there's you're not you know, you there's going to be something bigger to it, isn't there? Otherwise, they'd tell us with that. So yeah, it's got something to do with the taint, hasn't it? That is exactly what it involves. The Archdemon may be slain, as any other Darkspawn, but should any other than a Grey Warden do the slaying, it will not be enough. The essence of the beast will pass through the taint to the nearest Darkspawn and will be reborn anew in that body. The dragon is thus all but immortal. Okay. If the Archdemon is slain by a Grey Warden, its essence travels into the Grey Warden instead. Ah, that doesn't sound healthy. The Darkspawn is an empty, soulless vessel, but a Grey Warden is not. The essence of the Archdemon is destroyed, and so is the Grey Warden. Meaning, the Grey Warden who kills the Archdemon dies? Yes. Yes. Without the Archdemon, the Blight ends. It is the only way. Okay. Uh, huh. Is there no other way? Must the Warren die? As far as we know, the transfer of the Archdemon's essence is automatic. If one of us is not present when the killing blow is made, it is all for nothing. There is no other way. For what it's worth, I'm sorry. Okay. So why doesn't everybody know this? This is the sort of thing that needs to be uh, widespread. We keep it secret for the same reason the joining is kept secret. Who would become a Grey Warden if they knew the end that might await them? And yet there must be Grey Wardens. Without us there is no hope. <sighs> so it's up to, th up to the three of us to kill this thing. In Blight's past, when the time came, the eldest of the Grey Wardens would decide which amongst them would take that final blow. If possible, the final blow should be mine to make. I am the eldest and the taint will not spare me much longer. But if I fail, the deed falls on you. The Blight must be stopped now, or it will destroy all of Ferelden before the rest of the Grey Wardens can assemble. Remember that. But enough. There will be much to do tomorrow, and little enough time to rest before it. I will let you return to your rooms. I will see you once the army is ready to march, then. I guess this ends soon, one way or another. That it does, my friend. That it does. Okay. Now I, now I think we should have... Uh, maybe we should have inducted... Uh, her father into the Grey Wardens. He was an old git. He could have done it. Uh, Riordan. You should get some sleep before morning. There will be much to do when the army marches. Okay. Oh god. Alright. So since I've made Alistair a king, Duncan's dead. We've well, basically got to keep your Riordan alive or kill myself. Um, I think I'm gonna go see my girlfriend.
Do not be alarmed. It is only I. Yes. <laughs> Find a betrayed. No, no, I'm not alarmed. Glad to see you. I did not come here to speak of sentimental things. I came here to speak with you. I have a I plan, know. you see. A way out. The loop in your hole. Okay. Get to I it. I know what happens when the Archdemon dies. I know a Grey Warden must be sacrificed. And that sacrifice could be you. I have come to tell you that this does not need to be. Oh, so you have the... Uh the uh, is there no a way out solution um, how do you know about this I know a great many things how I know is not quite as important as what I am offering you however I offer a way out hmm. a way out for all the Grey Wardens that there need be no sacrifice a ritual performed on the eve of battle in the dark of night Okay. Just what sort of ritual is this? It is old magic. From a time before the Circle of Magi was created. Ah. Some would call it blood magic. But I think that means little to one like you. Okay, and it, uh, let me guess. Fingy told you this ritual? Flemeth? From Flemeth, of course. Yes. I have known about it for some time. So you knew before Riordan told me? I did. Would you have believed me if I had been the one to tell you? I have my doubts. Okay, nothing goes without a price though, does it? Perhaps. But that price need not be so unbearable. Especially if there is much to be gained. All I ask is that you listen to what I have to offer. Nothing more. Fine. Very well. What's this plan? What I propose is this. Lay with me here tonight. Well, I was planning that anyway. From our joining, a child will be conceived. Okay, that's the, the next step. will bear the taint. And when the Archdemon is slain, its essence will seek the child like a beacon. Okay. At this early stage, the child can absorb that essence. And not perish. Okay, because it's too demon is still destroyed with no Grey Warden dying in the process. Uh, I wouldn't say it comes a Darkspawn because I'm not a Darkspawn. But yeah, let's just double check that it's not a Darkspawn. It's not going to be a Darkspawn, yes? Not at all. Good. It will become something different. A child born with the soul of an old god. After this oh. is done... You allow me to walk away, and you do not follow, ever. The child will be mine to raise as I wish. Uh, okay. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, what? So, what about this child? Let me know more about this child. As you wish. Okay. So, this child's not going to be hurt, you've just said yes? Ignoring that after but one night it could barely be called a child, no, it will not be hurt. It will be changed. Ah, uh, <laughs> will it be evil? I mean, I mean, it's going to have the soul of an old god, so yeah. Allow me to say that what I seek is the essence of the old god that once was, and not the dark forces that corrupted it. Okay. Some things are worth preserving in this world. Make of that what you will. And, yeah, what do you intend to do with the child? I do not wish to tell you. Uh, I insist. She doesn't wish to tell This is... I have to be careful here, because she's offering to save my life. <laughs> will I ever see it? No, you never will. This is all I ask in return for freeing you from the burden the Grey Wardens have placed upon you. I see. Then you have decided? <sighs> How do you know this even works? This is what my mother intended when she sent me with you. She was the one who first gave me this ritual and told me of what I was meant to do. This does not surprise you, does it? 
Did you not wonder why Flemeth saved your life? Why she aided you? This is why. What okay. is important is that I am offering this to you now. It will work, and it will save your life. Okay. Oh. Huh. Decisions. Well, I'm sterile anyway. So this is the only child I'm ever going to have, even if I never see them. But part of me will still be out there. And it will be half God. Or full God. Go on. I was coming to lie down with you anyway. A wise decision. Come, my love. Put the thoughts of the ritual aside and let us make this last night together one to remember. Oh, With the door open, you dirty buggers. I hope we shut the door. <laughs> 